In life's journey, God ordains seasons of change. We move from the old to the new, the familiar to the unfamiliar. But how do we recognize signs that God is preparing us for something fresh? Let's explore these divine signals together. Imagine the majestic eagle, a symbol of strength and renewal, with a potential lifespan of up to 70 years. However, when it reaches 40 years old, it faces a crucial decision. Its once sharp claws can no longer catch prey, and its once straight beak becomes bent. At this point, the eagle is left with only two options. Either succumb to its limitations or undergo a challenging process of change. When an eagle senses the need for change, it retreats to a secluded sanctuary to undergo a remarkable process of renewal. In this hidden refuge, the eagle initiates its transformation by breaking off its old beak, making way for a new one. This act symbolizes the shedding of the old and the preparation for the new. This vulnerable period, which can last up to 150 days, is crucial for the eagle's renewal and readiness for the next phase of its life. Finally, after this arduous journey, the eagle takes its famous flight of rebirth and enjoys another 30 years of life. The eagle's journey isn't just a story. It's a powerful lesson about getting ready for changes. Just like in today's video, where we're going to talk about five signs that show God might be getting you ready for a new and exciting chapter. These signs are like road signs pointing us towards new beginnings and great opportunities. So let's dive in together and see how God's plans can lead us to an amazing new season ahead. Sign 1. An intense hunger for God and His presence. Have you ever found yourself craving something so deeply that it consumes your thoughts? That's often the starting point when God is preparing you for a new season. You begin to develop a hunger that extends beyond the usual Sunday church service, diving deeper into His Word and spending more time in prayer. It's a longing that goes beyond mere religious activities. Your soul yearns for a deeper connection with God. So if you're experiencing this hunger for spiritual nourishment, it could be a sign that God is getting you ready for something new and exciting. One of the most powerful signs that God is preparing you for something greater is when you sense a discomfort with the norms. Even without a preacher's words, you can't shake this feeling. There's an intense hunger in your heart for the things of God. You start to detest unrighteousness and feel a compelling pull towards holiness. It's as if there's a force guiding you away from the crowd, urging you to avoid the pleasures of sin and worldliness. Instead, your desire shifts towards serving God and aligning with His will. In the Bible, there's a powerful example of this kind of desire seen in the life of Moses. Despite being born a Jew and Israelite, Moses grew up as the adopted son of Pharaoh's daughter, living as an Egyptian prince with access to wealth and power. However, there came a pivotal moment in Moses' life. The book of Hebrews recounts that when Moses reached the age of 40, he made a decisive choice. He refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing instead to suffer affliction with the people of God rather than enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. Hebrews 11.24, 26 says, By faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he looked to the reward. At the age of 40, Moses turned his back on the luxuries of Egypt and embraced the path of righteousness. This transformation wasn't a coincidence. Something stirred within him, compelling him to forsake the comforts of worldly life and pursue the will of God. There was an internal shift, a pulling towards a new season of preparation where he would become a deliverer. Moses' transformation wasn't sudden, but a gradual process orchestrated by God. As he shifted from worldly pleasures to God's purpose, he became a vessel for divine deliverance. Similarly, 
eagles separate from their packs to adapt to new seasons of life. Likewise, when God is preparing you for a new season, you'll sense a similar internal shift in your life. You'll no longer find satisfaction in worldly pursuits or fleeting pleasures. Instead, you'll feel drawn to the things of God, towards holiness, His Word, prayer, and the secret place of communion with Him. Remember James 4, 8 encourages us to draw nigh to God, and He will draw nigh to you. When you sense this longing for God over worldly pursuits, it's a sign of His preparation for something extraordinary. Before we move on to the next sign, I want you to write this in the comments section with bold faith. I choose Jesus above this world. Sign 2. Friend groups and dynamics changing. Another unmistakable sign that a new chapter is unfolding in your life is the discernible shifts within your friend groups, relationships or dynamics. These changes aren't the result of your own manipulation, but rather a natural progression towards something new. Relationships hold profound power, especially when God is guiding you into a fresh season of life. You might find that you're no longer as deeply connected to the people you once spent a significant amount of time with. As you step into this new chapter, some individuals who previously journeyed alongside you may not continue with you or may assume different roles. It's crucial to recognize that this isn't about superiority or inferiority. Rather, it's part of God's unfolding plan. Reflect on the example of the apostles in the Bible. During Jesus' ministry, they were together. But later, they were sent on separate missions according to God's calling for each of them. While some companions are meant to be lifelong, others join us only for a portion of the journey. Seeking God's guidance is vital in discerning who should remain in your circle. The people you surround yourself with wield significant influence over your life and decisions. When God is preparing you for a new season, He will separate you from individuals who hinder His vision for your life. He removes negative influences to prepare you for what lies ahead. Just as a beautiful rose can't bloom in a field of weeds, your true beauty and potential may be hindered by negative associations. In John 15, 1, Jesus describes himself as the true vine, with God as the husbandman or caretaker of the vineyard. The husbandman's role is to ensure the vines thrive and produce abundant fruit. Similarly, God nurtures believers to grow spiritually and bear good fruit in their lives. When God sees you surrounded by negative influences, which may even include your family, friends, or environment, He begins to separate you from those influences. This isn't because He wants you to have no friends, but rather because He has specific plans for your life that require you to be surrounded by positive influences. 1 Corinthians 15.33 emphasizes the importance of the company we keep as it significantly influences our lives. Trust in God's orchestration of relationships in each season, knowing that if He removes someone from your inner circle, it's for a purpose that will become clear as you journey forward. Embrace the freedom of knowing that God's plans for your relationships are always for your good and His glory. With that understanding in mind, let's turn our attention to another significant sign. Sign 3. Spiritual Opposition from the Kingdom of Darkness Before venturing into a new season, it's common to encounter spiritual opposition aimed at unsettling your resolve. This assault on your faith, identity and purpose often manifests as doubts and fears designed to weaken your trust in God's guidance. Just as a thief targets a house with valuable possessions, the adversary focuses on individuals with significant spiritual potential, seeking to disrupt their journey and thwart their impact. In Ephesians 6.12, the Bible vividly reminds us that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against powerful spiritual forces. The ongoing warfare between the Kingdom of Christ and the Kingdom of Darkness centers around humanity. The devil's main goal is to drag us into darkness, aiming to weaken us at our most vulnerable. 
His assaults are not random, but carefully crafted to undermine the Word of God in our lives. He employs various tactics such as mind games, accusations, causing chaos and disasters, attacking our health and tempting us with various sins. The devil strategically selects those who pose a threat to his kingdom's agenda, particularly individuals passionate about advancing God's kingdom. These are the prime targets for his schemes. Identifying those on the brink of a new season, he strategizes on how to make them fall. Consider the story of Job in the Bible. Despite being a blameless man of integrity, Job faced unimaginable trials. The devil, with God's permission, stripped him of his family, health and possessions. Yet Job remained steadfast in his faith. Even when urged by his wife to curse God and die, Job's integrity and faith remained unshaken. Satan's attacks came relentlessly, but Job stood firm, refusing to be swayed by the storm around him. Similarly, when we face intense spiritual warfare, it's not a time to despair. It's a time to rise with renewed strength, standing firmly on the promises of God. The devil always wants us to focus on the storm, just as Peter did when he walked on the water to meet Jesus. He knows that a person lacking faith will be unstable and easily swayed. He is incredibly tactical and wise in his scheme. So when you sense the devil's attacks in your life, it's a sign that good things are coming, my friend. Don't feel weak. Instead, stand strong on what God promises. Even when you're feeling low or things look bad, trust God's words more than how you feel or what's happening around you. Say no to the lies the devil tells you. Remember, while the bad stuff might seem real, God is way stronger. Get ready because we're in for a spiritual fight. With God by our side, we'll win for sure. So get brave and get ready to win. And always remember the scripture that says, If God is for us, who can be against us? Have you encountered spiritual attacks or opposition in your life? Share your stories or advice with others in the comments. Having explored the spiritual battles we may face, let's now turn our attention to the fourth sign, which manifests in closed doors and missed opportunities. Sign 4. Doors start closing. Facing closed doors, missed opportunities, or plans falling through can be disheartening. Yet, these shut doors often steer us towards something greater. It may seem every endeavor ends in failure. No matter the effort, success remains elusive. Job applications yield no results. Financial struggles persist despite attempts to overcome. And family conflicts persist despite efforts to avoid them. It's an endless cycle of setbacks, leaving one feeling defeated. However, these setbacks aren't necessarily indicators of inadequacy. They could signify divine pruning for a better future. God might be closing doors to safeguard against premature steps or to redirect our path. Reflect on Joseph's time in prison. Had he been released earlier, his destiny might have been altered. God's actions stem from love and compassion, not control. He provides what's necessary, steering us towards His perfect plan, even when it diverges from our own desires. Consider Proverbs 14.12's wisdom. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. We're confined by time, but God transcends it, knowing outcomes before decisions are made. His interventions align us with paths leading to fulfillment. When faced with constant failures, not all are assaults from evil. Many are divine orchestrations, guiding us toward purpose. Recognize setbacks as part of God's plan, not obstacles, but stepping stones. Lastly, let's explore one final sign, sign five divine inspiration and innovative solutions. Another sign that God is preparing you for a new season is when you receive divine inspiration and innovative solutions to challenges. Just like Joseph in the Bible, who interpreted Pharaoh's dreams and provided a strategy to prepare for an impending famine, God may grant you creative ideas and insights to navigate the next chapter of your journey. Joseph's story in Genesis 41 serves as a powerful example of divine inspiration at work. 
when Pharaoh experienced troubling dreams about seven years of abundance, followed by seven years of famine, Joseph was summoned to interpret them. Through God's guidance, Joseph not only accurately interpreted the dreams, but also proposed a practical solution to store food during the years of plenty to prepare for the famine ahead. This foresight and innovative strategy not only saved Egypt from starvation, but also provided sustenance for neighboring regions, demonstrating God's wisdom and provision through Joseph. Additionally, Joseph's actions not only secured the survival of the entire tribe of Israelites, but also extended to the welfare of the whole world at that present age. It highlights how God's inspiration can lead to solutions that not only benefit individuals, but also have far-reaching impacts on communities and nations. Similarly, when you receive creative ideas, inspiration, or innovative solutions to challenges, it may be a sign that God is equipping you for the next phase of your journey. Whether it's in your career, relationships, or personal endeavors, God's guidance and inspiration can lead to breakthroughs and blessings beyond what you could imagine. So, when you experience moments of divine inspiration and receive innovative solutions, embrace them as signs of God's preparation for the new season ahead. As we conclude our exploration of these five signs indicating God's preparation for a new season, we've encountered profound reminders of His constant presence, provision, and guidance. From deepening our faith to embracing challenges for growth, from shedding negative influences to trusting closed doors leading to greater blessings, and ultimately, from receiving clear guidance to entrusting ourselves to His divine plan, one thing remains clear. These signs alone won't yield results. We must yield our will to God. Moses urged the children of Israel to choose life, Deuteronomy 30.19 aligning our will with God's to open ourselves to His transformative work. Let's recommit to studying His Word, fervent prayer, and patient waiting upon the Lord, Isaiah 40, 31. Like the eagle returning to its nest for strength, we must return to God's presence for renewal. Acknowledging challenges ahead, let's draw strength from Paul's words, knowing our present sufferings pale in comparison to future glory. Romans 8.18 Jesus emphasized abiding in Him to bear fruit. John 15.4 Let's renew our commitment to remain rooted in Christ and His Word, allowing His Spirit to guide us. As we yield ourselves to the will of God for our lives, may the Lord strengthen us with His power in Jesus' name. Amen. As we conclude, May these words bring encouragement and insight into your blessings unfolding in our lives. Thank you for being with us. If you found inspiration in this message, we encourage you to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel for further faith-centered content, and don't forget to turn on notifications as well.